Hi everyone, I've got a quick demo of the Mesos module working now, so I wanted to show that off real quick. Uh, previously you'll have seen that I've got the square display working uh, and did a bit of a mock-up for how that might look, but now I've implemented the logic of the game, so I can press the button, move that cursor around, um, move to the goal and get a diffuse um, or resolve, or I can hit into the walls and, and get strikes. So that's all, all working as intended. Um, this module is effectively done in terms of the code and the electronics now. Um, so what I have to do next is get the CAD ready, which is a pretty simple module to CAD, I think, but really just needs um, something that will hold the screen in place and, and four buttons. It's fairly simple, but that's to be done in the future when I've got through some more soldering for the other modules. But I'll give you a quick demo of this all working now. So you can see that I've got the uh, square display here, some buttons on a little board here, with the, the, the driver board that controls the screen. The ESP on the left hand side is controlling the maze module. The ESP on this right board is my debugger if you haven't seen that. So this is going to be acting um, as the, the brains of this sending messages to start and stop the game. So I can kind of set up a game from here, play it through really quickly um, and then you know play around with it with this. Uh, and on the screen you'll see um, that you've got a bit of the output from the ESP here so we can see when we're striking we're solving this module um, and I've also got um, a little bit of the, um, the manual here which I can bring down if I need to um, show you you know that it's, it's doing the right things in terms of the, the, the maze is generating correctly. So let me um, initialize a game and you can see in the output that this is uh, maze 2 which would be um, this one here. So we'll expect the circles to be in that position uh, and the, the maze layout to be the same as that. Um, the player starts at five, so that's top right. The goal is at 34, so I think that's near the bottom right. But we shall soon see when I start the game and the screen turns on. Um, so you can see that we have to get from top right down to the bottom. Um, and because I can see the maze map in front of me in the manual, um, I know where to go. So I'm going to slowly navigate towards that, but I'm going to make a few wrong choices on the way. So that will show up um, some strikes on the, um, the messages on the computer there, but it will also show the walls on the maze that I've bumped into. So first of all, I'll try and go right and try and go up. And obviously can't do that because that would take me out of bounds, but I can go left down, right, down all of the way, um, and that's how you get a solve for it to go to the left. But before I do that um, and freeze the module up, I'll just bump into a couple of walls here so you can see that um, you know it is working correctly. Try and move up, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here, try and move up again so I can kind of colour in the maze and you can see that um, there are walls in the right places here. So let me just navigate back down to the goal and you can see in the output there, input cause to solve, that's it, the game is solved so I can press these buttons, but, you know the cursor is gone, I can't move that cursor anymore because the game is over. Uh, so that's it, um, what I can do here with the debugger is um, stop this game, I can initialize another one so it will generate a different, different one here so we are with the ninth layout, so the bottom right one, um, and we've got some new start and end positions for us to get to. And if I start this game, there we are, we have a different layout for us to bumble our way around if, uh, if I don't look at where I'm going. So you can see that I'm, I'm going to bump into a lot of things here, just going blind. But there you go, um, that's it all working. Just going to do the card. Um, and all of the other electronics, uh, soldering, etc., for the other modules to try and get everything manufactured, assembled, and ready to play. But thanks very much for, this, for watching this demo, and uh, see you in the next one.